Happy Video Friday. It is Trick or Treat Edition. So we're going to start out with Trick because why wouldn't we start out with Trick? It's a little chilly here in Iowa today. Fall has made its appearance. I'm wearing my warmer long sleeve shirts now. I even chose my symmetrical design for everyone today. So in honor of Halloween and Trick or Treat season coming up, only Trick will be on sale at all retailers for 99 cents through the end of this month. Don't look back in anger. Oh, I love this book. Trick is this mysterious mythical creature with tattoos and he's this makeup artist and he comes across a little um, hard and gruff and standoffish with people and he doesn't really let that many people into his life and I loved watching Darby kind of worm her way through the cracks and crevices into his life. I thoroughly enjoyed writing their relationship. I love their chemistry. Um, when they do uh, get together in this book, it was fun writing this really sexy, off the charts, hot chemistry between the two of them. So I hope you pick up a copy of Only Trick when it's on sale for the rest of this month. And it's a hot, hot book to read during this cool fall season. So grab something warm, maybe a pumpkin spice uh, drink, and read about my only trick. So the treat today is a little bit of insight of what I'm writing, which is Flint. Oh my gosh, I need to title this book. It's not going to be Flint. That won't be the title of it, but it feels like the title of it. But that is what I'm working on. And honestly, the past week, I just ended up with 15,000 words just like that. I didn't even have to think about I it. I love Flint. Oh my gosh, he's so dark and he's sexy and um, sometimes I get angry with him but at the same time my heart breaks for him and I think I've given him a good match in this book with Ellen Rogers. She goes by Elle. She is a music therapist. rom-com rom-com and yet oh there's so much depth to this so interestingly there are rats in this book and this was inspired by somebody in my Jonesies group it was kind of an odd um, message I was asking about favorite days and they had somebody mention that they were going to pick up their rat had had some procedure done and I messaged back thinking did she mean to say cat? And she said, no, nope, it was rat. And I think she said she has eight rats. I don't know, a lot of rats. And it kind of hit me because at first you think, ooh, eight rats. But on the other hand, I've heard of people having rats and people saying that they're really great pets and that they're smart and that they're really quite clean and they can be so much fun. And so I have been watching videos on YouTube and reading different blogs about, um, owning rats and having them for pets. It's really opened my eyes and I thought, I want to write this character who has rats for pets. And so Ellen has um, five rats and four of them are males and they're all named after classical composers, Bach, Mozart, um, Beethoven, who was the other one? I don't remember the other one. <laughs> anyway, and then there is one girl, and she is Lady Gaga. That's really given a great um, comic relief moment through this book because there is so much darkness given Flint's past and the fact that right away you know in the book or anybody who had read one that his wife um, his wife died in a car accident and he was driving the car and he was drunk. So there's that element of the book that I just don't feel like I can take this straight down the rom-com. I think that I have to give this a lot more depth and meaning at the same time because it, it is a serious subject matter what happened to him and now he's dealing with his son who is on this autism spectrum. So they have this really crazy relationship and um, and it's been gosh, so much fun to write. So this is just pouring out of me. I 
actually foresee having the story finished and ready to go to some beta readers sometime in December. It'll just depend on my editor's schedule and proofreader's schedules, but this should come out the end of January of 2018 or the first part of February. So next year is going to be an exciting year. I will have Flint's story coming out in January or February. Transcend will be published in March, and then another book called Epic will come out in April. So, wow, then I'm just going to take the rest of the year off and not do anything.